Revelation chapter 13, verse 13, he performs great signs so that he even makes fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. The false prophet's ability to perform miracles, such as calling down fire from heaven, deceives many. This act imitates the miracles of the Old Testament prophets, like Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38, and serves to validate his authority and the beast's divine claims. Continuing from where we left off, the false prophet's performance of great signs and wonders, particularly his ability to call down fire from heaven, is a critical component of his deceptive influence. This act of calling down fire is reminiscent of the prophet Elijah's confrontation with the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel, as recorded in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 38. In that historical account, Elijah's prayer was answered by God with fire from heaven, demonstrating that the Lord is the true God and discrediting the false prophets of Baal. The false prophet's mimicry of this miracle is a deliberate attempt to evoke such biblical imagery and to convince people that his power, and by extension the power of the first beast, is legitimate and divinely sanctioned. The ability to perform such miraculous signs is a powerful tool of deception. It capitalizes on the human tendency to equate miraculous power with divine approval. The spectacle of fire descending from heaven is both dramatic and convincing, designed to captivate the masses and to lead them into false worship. This act not only impresses the observers, but also serves to legitimize the authority of the Antichrist, reinforcing his claims to divinity and power. The false prophet's signs are part of a broader strategy to establish a counterfeit religious system that rivals and opposes the worship of the true God. The use of miracles to deceive is a well-documented strategy of Satan. Jesus himself warned about the appearance of false Christs and false prophets who would perform great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. Matthew chapter 24, verses 24 through 25. The Apostle Paul also spoke of the coming of the lawless one, which is according to the working of Satan, with all power, signs, and lying wonders, and with all unrighteous deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth that they might be saved. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 9 through 10. The false prophet's miracles are thus a fulfillment of these warnings, demonstrating the lengths to which Satan will go to lead people astray. The ability to call down fire from heaven specifically ties the false prophet's actions to the realm of divine judgment and approval. Fire from heaven is a biblical motif often associated with God's judgment, as seen in the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, Genesis chapter 19, verse 24, and the judgment on the rebellious sons of Aaron, Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 through 2. By co-opting this motif, the false prophet seeks to present his actions as carrying divine authority and judgment, thereby lending credence to the Antichrist's regime. The deceptive nature of these signs underscores the spiritual battle that believers must navigate during the end times. The ability of the false prophet to perform such convincing miracles presents a significant challenge to the faithful who must discern between true divine miracles and satanic deceptions. This requires a deep grounding in the truth of God's Word and a reliance on the Holy Spirit for discernment and wisdom. Believers are called to test the spirits to see whether they are from God, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1, recognizing that not every miraculous sign is a sign of divine approval. The broader context of Revelation chapter 13 reveals the systematic nature of the deception propagated by the false prophet. His signs and wonders are part of a larger strategy to establish the worship of the first beast and to enforce the mark of the beast, a sign of allegiance and economic control. This mark, placed on the right hand or forehead, signifies total submission to the Antichrist's authority and serves as a means of economic and social exclusion for those who refuse it. Revelation chapter 13 verses 16 through 17. The combination of miraculous signs, religious coercion, and economic control creates a comprehensive system of deception and oppression designed to lead people away from the worship of the true God. 
For believers, the presence of such deceptive signs is a call to steadfast faith and perseverance. The book of Revelation repeatedly emphasizes the need for endurance and faithfulness in the face of persecution and deception. In Revelation chapter 14 verses 9 through 12, the third angel warns of the dire consequences for those who worship the beast and receive his mark, calling for the endurance of the saints who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. This call to endurance is a reminder that, despite the overwhelming power and deception of the enemy, believers are to remain faithful to God's commands and to the testimony of Jesus Christ. The ultimate fate of the false prophet and the Antichrist, as described in Revelation chapter 19 verse 20, serves as a powerful assurance of God's justice. Despite their apparent success and the temporary triumph of their deceptive schemes, their end is assured in the lake of fire. This final judgment underscores the futility of their rebellion and the certainty of God's ultimate victory over all evil. Believers are thus encouraged to remain faithful, knowing that God's justice will prevail and that their perseverance will be rewarded. Revelation chapter 13 verse 13 highlights the deceptive power of the false prophet through his performance of great signs, including calling down fire from heaven. This act, which imitates the miracles of Old Testament prophets like Elijah, serves to deceive many and to validate the authority of the Antichrist. The use of such miracles is a fulfillment of biblical warnings about false prophets and false Christs who perform signs and wonders to lead people astray. For believers, this verse underscores the importance of discernment, faithfulness, and reliance on God's Word and the Holy Spirit. The deceptive signs of the false prophet are part of a larger strategy of religious and economic coercion, but the ultimate victory belongs to God who will judge the false prophet and the Antichrist and vindicate his faithful followers. Believers are called to endure with patience and faith, holding fast to the truth of God's Word and the testimony of Jesus Christ amidst the trials and deceptions of the end times.